To all the haters, hate on, this is where I belong Our H is my home and we gon' keep it going We let our light so shine, bringing the truth to the masses From documentaries to weekly Shabbat classes Thursday night, Q&A, who cares what the haters say We pray that y'all keep to the lost sheep our way Our ox don't preach, they teach lessons than y'all's name Salvation's not a game, so with this work we ain't playing Blog talk, radio, six days out of a week Interviewing pastors to see what doctrine they teach Exposing all the lies, Bible versus Christianity The Bible is the truth, Christianity's insanity so if you want the truth, you can visit our home site, HebrewIsraelites.org And if you want more, BlessHandMages.org And if you done got a PC, you can catch us in the streets past And I'll let your light shine, you know I'ma let mine shine I'ma stick to the truth at all times, I used to be blind But now I got sight, that's right, Father Yah, feel my best so with light Let your light shine Exodus 20 and 4 Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I Yah thy mighty one am a jealous mighty one visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Hey, Shalom. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up uh, right here with uh, the church. We're gonna look at the church. We're gonna look at uh, the word church. We're gonna look at the architecture of uh, church and some of the things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stay focused because it can go off in any direction with all these signs and symbols. And uh, uh, so we're gonna just look at um, church where it comes from architecture the symbols uh, surrounding it and then uh, later uh, in the next in the next installment the next lesson uh, we'll go in further into the symbols you know the crows the fish uh, many other symbols connected to the church and you're gonna see who's connected with those symbols where those symbols come from and what they mean so when you start seeing these symbols you should know that you're involved with something you shouldn't be involved with and uh, I pray you can correct it we got to do the right thing uh, to be worthy, to be to be found worthy to enter into the kingdom of Yah. Okay, um, the church. I got this from Come Out of Her, My People. Um, this is a good reference book. I'm going to continue to use it um, throughout every lesson as it, as it fits uh, uh, the symbols. Um, right here, uh, we're going to go into the church from uh, Come Out of Her, My People. Uh, this is the word used in most English versions. As a rendering of the New Testament Greek word uh, ecclesia, the word really means a calling out, a meeting, or a gathering. Ecclesia is the Greek equivalent of the Hebrew kahal, which means an assembly or congregation. Neither ecclesia nor kahal means a building. Tinsdale, in his translation, uniformly tra translated. Ecclesia as congregation and only use the word churches to translate Acts 1937 for heathen temples. Once the word church, then ecclesiastical sources give the origin as Curiacon or Kyriacon in the Greek. However, to accept this, one has to stretch your imagination in an attempt to see any resemblance. Also, because Kyrion means a building, the house of Kyrios, the house of the Lord. And you're gonna, it's, it's funny how many of these gods has the Lord attached to it. The Lord uh, is attached to many, many deities. And you're going to find a lot of these deities in the scriptures because uh, the pagans translated the scriptures. So they placed these gods in there and have you calling on pagan gods. So you're calling on. On, on pagan gods in a pagan place of worship because you got obelisk on the top you know and all these other symbols you don't know who you worship you know not who you worship we know who we worship for salvation of, is of Israel we know who we worship uh, and not uh, Kyrion means building the house of Kyrios equals Lord and not a gathering or meeting of people 
as the words Ecclesia and Kahal imply. Therefore, this explanation can only be regarded as distorted, even if it, if it is true. Our common dictionaries, however, are honest in revealing to us the true origin. They all trace the word back to its old English or Anglo-Saxon root, namely Circe. Circe was a Greek goddess. And if you look up the word church, that's what it's going to tell you the origin of the word is. Circe. And the origin of Circe, uh, 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 and the origin of Circe, any encyclopedia or dictionary of mythology will reveal who Circe was. Even a regular dictionary. I've seen it in a regular dictionary. You can check dictionary.com. It gives the, different, um, the etymology of Circe. Uh, she was the goddess, daughter of Helios, the sun deity. Sun worship. Here we go again. Sun worship is is throughout, throughout Christianity, throughout the church. You know, keep running across uh, uh, phallic worship, uh, fertility worship, and sun worship. It's all connected. It's all the same thing. Again, another form of sun worship. This time, the name of the daughter of the sun deity had become mixed with the messianic belief. Some interesting facts emerge from the study of the word Circe. The word is related to circus. Circle, circuit, circean, circulate, and various words starting with circum. Latin rules of grammar demand the pronunciation of circ. The old English word circe could have been pronounced similarly, sim, sim, similarly, similarly to kirk, k-i-r-k-e, or even circe. However, circe was in fact originally a Greek goddess where her name was written as Kirk, K-I-R-K-E, -E, and pronounced as such. Just as in numerous similar cases of words of Greek origin, cis and kousis, cycle and kuklos, cylinder and kulindros, the word church is known in Scotland as Kirk, and in German as Kirchi, and in the Netherlands as K-E-R-K -E Kirk. These words show their direct derivation from the Greek Kirk, Kirky even better than the English church. However, even the old English Circe for church reveals its origin. Let us rather use scriptural assembly or congregation and renounce the word that is derived from Circe, the daughter of the son did. Assembly or congregation, that's what fits. That fits, that fits with what scripture tells us. That the Messiah said, well, two or more gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. Has nothing to do with the building. So you don't need church. It, the, 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 uh, actual meaning is congregation or assembly. That's what it means. To congregate or um, assemble. Not to go to a building. You're inside Circe. You're going to Circe on Sunday. That's where you're going. And Circe, that goddess, when you look at uh, some of the um, mythology behind her, the stories behind her, she turned men into swine. She turned men into unclean, filthy beasts. That's what she did. And if you go into Cersei, that's what she's turned you into. Not to be rude or be mean. This is this is what it is. This is what they've given you and you've accepted without questioning. Uh, this is from the book, Our Phallic Heritage. Uh, it says, domes often found on mosques and some churches symbolize the female belly, arched or swollen as in pregnancy. The word dome was originally do, do on, d on, d e hyphen o m, d on, or d um on, pronounced and spelled d womb, like the womb, uh, childbearing, the womb, or the.